Welcome to Anti Gravity. Now, this is the new IDE from Google. Now, of course, it's not new for Google. They have built multiple IDEs for different use cases. But this is an AI powered IDE. Now, again, this is not the first time we are getting this type of IDEs from any other company or maybe even for Google. But this is a standalone IDE which you can run on your machine. Now, it is AI powered, so of course you can use AI agents. You, it will help. It will be your assistant, AI assistant when you're building project. Uh, but let's see how it works. And before we do that, I just want to show you using this, you can build different kind of applications, maybe front end, full stack applications. And interestingly, pricing. This is free to start with. I mean, for individual, they are saying uh, it's free, but I'm not sure till when it will be free. But at this point, it's free. Again, they are into testing phase. Uh, the team plan, enterprise plan is not there yet. It's just released. And how to download? It's very simple. You can just click on download here and you will get the version on your machine. Now, one other thing about anti-gravity is it is also based on, let me show you. So this is the anti-gravity when you download and install. Uh, the only thing is if you want to use this, you have to log into your account, a Google account. Then only you can use it. But if you go to help and about, this is based on the open source version of VS Code. So Again, there are multiple IDEs, AI-based IDEs, which are based on VS Code. So if you are used to VS Code, you will know how to use it. So there's a screen where you can write the code. You got the project, so you just have to open the folder. I got a folder called Test Anti-Gravity. Uh, and this is where you can write your requirements, right, or the prompts. Now, in the prompt, you can see we have option of planning and fast. So basically, this is almost same as ask and... Uh, uh, agent mode but then in the planning it also acts like an agent mode where it will show you the entire steps and i'll show you the steps in some time but what makes this ide better than the other ides two things one is the agent manager and second is the inbuilt browser so if you want to do some ui testing and uh, you can ask the browser to do it for you i've not tested it yet in that sense but uh, okay you have to add extension as well We'll do that. So I will open the agent manager here. And basically you can work with multiple projects at the same time. So you can create multiple agents for multiple projects and uh, you can switch between the projects there. Uh, this is my workspace and I can type the thing here or I can type the code there. You can change the model. So you got Gemini 3 Pro, which is a very good model. But if you want to use Sonnet, you can try that. Uh, you can use GPT, the OSS, and you can also use that. Okay, but I will not be working in the agent manager at this point. I will just stick to the agent mode here. So let me create a simple project and the project may be for the personal finance. Okay, so I want to know where I'm spending money from where I'm getting the money uh, so that I can plan it better. So I want to say build a personal finance app using Python fast API and React in front end. Okay, I should be able to add credit and uh, debit and show weekly report. Okay, so this this is the plan. Okay, and of course you can customize it. But then the beautiful thing about this is when you when you go into the planning phase, let me click here, it will show you the entire plan. So uh, it will go step by step. So it's analyzing the project structure and uh, it will create an initial blueprint. Okay, looks good. It's still thinking. But it will start assigning tasks as well. Okay, this was I was talking about. Uh, so if you dismiss this, so this is the task it's going to complete. It's going to create a new uh, project which will have these files, which is main, model, schema, database. In the front end, it will do all the structure. And it is going to use UVCon to run this. I'm just concerned which package manager it is going to use. Let's see. So I will click on... Uh, okay, I could also submit the comment. In fact, you can add the comment. I'm not sure which package manager is going to use, so I will specifically ask it to use use UV package manager, and you can add the comment and it will use it. So I'll click on proceed now. It might change the plan. I'm not sure what it was thinking when it was creating the project. I mean, what package manager is going to use? But based on my comment, it, was, it might change its process. So you can see somewhere it is mentioned updating the implementation plan to include UV as a package manager. Okay, so it is adapting the comments as well, and this is helpful, right? The, one of the problem with the wipe coding, which we say is when you build a project, it will give you the project, and then it will take a lot of time to debug it. It might not follow the plan. 
Uh, but when you see the plan, when you see the task, you can actually select the task and you can add comments there. What are things you have to want to modify? Uh, and now this is the implementation plan is going to go with. And I think I'm okay with the plan and I can start this. So it's implementing now. Okay, it says it's got the green light. Okay, so it will create different folder structure, right? And I just have to accept it. If you don't want to wait for the steps, you can go into the fast mode where it will do everything for you. Uh, but I will stick to the planning mode. And okay, accept this, accept this. Okay, so a prompt model trying to start a new conversation. Okay, there was some issue. Is it still continuing? Okay, what a time to get the error. I'll say continue. So maybe there was some issue. I should have read the error properly. Okay, it says add the Python extension. Again, this is given by the ID, not by the agents. Uh, I don't want to do that. So just, you can see it is slowly creating all the folder structure. It's not touching the UI at this point. It's only focusing on the backend. I mean, that's how the thing should go. And okay, it's editing the file, adding some things. Again, sim something similar, which we see in the other IDs. And now it's starting with the front end. Let me accept that. Install with NPM, yes. Not given the prompt yet. Agent terminated due to error. Okay, I'm not sure if, if the Google team, when they were do demoing this, they got the error, but I'm getting a lot of errors. Not sure why. Maybe this is a feedback for them. So front end is also ready. I just want to check the versions. Uh, okay, looks good. Version looks good. And we got all the files here, okay. So now it says run the command, yes, accept. Okay, so it, it found some errors and it should be able to uh, solve that now. So by the time it is happening, I can open the agent manager and I can start with the new project. Or I can say add a cloud monitor. Yeah, this is what I was expecting. We're just going to change the architecture. Okay, it's doing this task. So once it is complete, I think it will put that into inbox that your task is completed and it will give some suggestions. But by the time it is happening, I will just accept it here. And again, there's an error. Not sure what the error is. Let me know when you try this on your machine, are you facing any issues? Let me know in the comments. Okay, let's run this, accept. Okay, now it will use the browser to test it. So let me set up the browser and I have to add the extension, add to Chrome. Okay, I have to sign in here as well. I thought it will use my default browser. It's not doing that. Okay, so it found the error and then it will start debugging it now. So we don't have to actually click anywhere. It will just do it automatically. So it's clicking somewhere. I'm not sure where. Playback view. So when you see these blue borders, that means it is doing something with the UI. Okay, it's making a lot of changes. I should have went for the fast mode. Okay, again in a... So let's see what a troubleshooting guide says. Okay, they don't have much. Okay, no problem. Let's continue. So when you get error, you ask the AI tool to solve it and AI itself is giving you an error. So are we successfully failing to demo the anti-gravity? Still working out, still working out. Is it because it is interfering with my two projects? I don't think so, we started this later. And this is currently working. This has just stopped. So it will ask my permissions and what to do. So that will go ahead. But it yeah, looks looks good. Okay. Uh, restarting front end server, verifying functionality, creating. Okay. Looks good. The walkthrough. And now if I just click this. Okay. I think there's something wrong with the CSS and we can just test it out there. But if I add a transaction, so let's say I'm adding a transaction of I received $1,000 from somewhere and then this was my uh, freelance work. Some description, add transaction. Okay, great, just went up. It was 5,000, now it became 6,000. So working is there and it is maintaining this. How do I get the weekly report? There's no button for the weekly report. Or oh, this is a weekly report itself. Okay, I can just test it. I can ask, use your browser Testing to check something is wrong with layout. Okay, let's see if it is using the browser to check it properly. Okay, so you can see blue borders. It is. It will do the things by itself now. So that's their goal. Okay, we don't have to do anything. 
apart from accepting what they what the changes they are trying to make or maybe this was the plan ui from from uh, gemini i should have said i need a proper ui okay it found the error or it created the error but this changes which you made is giving me an error solve it like it's not doing anything and the blank front end run the project i mean the project is running otherwise we could have got some other error except some changes nothing in the front end yet maybe it's also true for the ai if something is working <laughs> don't touch oh okay i fix the layout issues refactor the project is running you can check now try it still okay uh yeah this is running now but i can change the layout the way i want uh i can say modernize the layout but keep it simple let's see and by the time it is happening let me just check out the back end files the model it is going to follow so transactions okay they are using sql alchemy and uh, do, 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 do. so they got three apis for the transaction post get and weekly report okay perfect and for the crud operations these are the methods for the crud looks good okay the code looks good compared to what ai normally generates so accept all the changes and it broke uh, okay is it running with those changes now error in front end so normally you don't have to copy paste the code it will do it for you but you got the gist right so it's basically run through the ui using the browser and it will make the changes so made some changes in the ui file and it's blank okay ui is blank and error so i'll say continue this is the worst product review or maybe the best one your things are not working uh, please try again later oh because the model provide is overloaded now i saw the error because of, of the huge demand okay so testing it if this looks good i am going to use it i need to spend i need to monitor my money where it's going let's see if it can solve its own bug so accept the changes did some changes okay finally finally we got the ui so you can add the transaction it will look here and then this is the total credit total debit i got this much of balance okay looks good looks good this is what you can do with this and uh, one of the best thing about this again this is not you can only do it with this there are multiple uh, ai based ids available but this planning which it was showing is amazing and next time i will wait for google to sponsor the videos so we have got walk through we got uh, the browser in build so it looks good so let me know your thoughts in the comment section and try it out uh, i'm not sure if i'm going to use it for java but i should try that so today we tried with python and react maybe i'll try it with java as well and we'll let you know in the comments how was my experience let me know your comments how was your experience